all right so another video about hot topics in media today and i mean this was this news story broke a few days ago but um like i say in previous videos i like to let these things marinate you know what i mean just let them sit for a little while see if there's any other follow-up stories before i hop behind the mic and talk about my thoughts zendaya was actually i believe in talks of being offered the role or the leading role in the live action version of disney's the little mermaid now i some about zendaya that i've noticed a lot ever since you know her um days on shake it up and i believe what was it uh um it was the spy show casey undercover was that it like obviously shake it up and whatnot uh came out before my uh why well, excuse me those shows came out after my time with disney you know like i grew up with the lizzie mcguire's and the even stevens and um you know stuff a proud family you know i was in that i was born in 91 so obviously by that statement you can tell what era of disney i grew up when uh grew up with that's not to say shake it up wasn't good and uh yeah I, yeah she was in that show the casey spy show and i've noticed that while Bella Thorne, her counterpart on Shake It Up with the red hair, she got, you know, different movie roles and whatnot. But then anytime Zendaya was announced to be up for a role in any particular movie, there was always some controversy. Um, you know, like I believe she was offered the role of Aaliyah in the was that a lifetime or TLC uh, a lifetime or VH1 movie biopic? It was the one that came out recently. I heard it was bad. I didn't even watch it, but I know she backed out of that role because of backlash. Um, then you know, oh, she wore her hair in like corn rolls or something at an award show, and she ain't black and this and that. But in any case, you know, if you watched her performance in The Greatest Showman, that was pretty good. I know there was also the oh my god zendaya is the new version the mcu versions of mary jane and stuff like that and it's just like oh my i i okay backlash always my attitude is this if she's the quote-unquote mj of the mcu who is a rare a red-headed character then why not allow her to be ariel ariel who's a red-haired character a red-haired a red-haired character in um mcu which is owned by disney so technically speaking she would be in two franchises so can anyone say a little mermaid spider-man homecoming crossover who knows but i mean my attitude is this because zendaya aside we live in a society where there is a lot of cultural switch-ups in terms of oh, now, what's the terminology to use oh they're whitewashing this by having this character uh this white actor or actress portray someone who's an asian from the comic books or uh oh they're uh is blackwashing a term i'm sorry there are just so many terms and i i don't honest, i can't keep up with them i don't even bother to it's like oh they put a black person in the role that a white person used to play and this and that i honestly don't care i mean my attitude has always been this if the person selected for a role can do an amazing job portraying the role, that's good enough for me. That's not to say that if we have a black Peter Parker in the MCU, I wouldn't raise an eyebrow. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I'm just like, my attitude has always been, if it isn't like, oh, wow, we're pushing an agenda by switching up the ethnicities of this well-known role. I'm okay with it as long as the role is portrayed well. I honestly don't care. I mean, like, my... I grew up in the 90s, so I grew up with the animated films. Little Mer If I were to name Disney movies that I vaguely remember because I never watched them more than during childhood, like being in like public school, like in elementary and whatnot. Oh, we're going to watch a movie today, yada, yada, yada. So sometimes Little Mermaid will be on, like um, when we go to the library during class, that will be on the TV. Like Little Mermaid, Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland. You can really tell being a guy, a lot of the girl focused disney films weren't the ones i watched a lot my sister did i really didn't but i mean for me if she can play the role well then let her do it i honestly don't see a problem we're talking about flipping mermaids i mean is there anything else that needs to be said about this i mean the people who have a problem with it are probably people who don't want the role given to someone who isn't caucasian or they just want to keep it strictly like it is in the um 
Disney universe, I guess is the way to put it, because Ariel is quote unquote white. I, 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 once again, I really don't care. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Zendaya should be able to play Ariel in the live action version of The Little Mermaid? Uh, do you think they should just stick with it being a white actress? Do you feel like me where it doesn't really matter if the person does a great job with the role they do it? Now, I will say, because Hasbro has taken over Power Rangers, um, they are in talks. There's nothing confirmed. Possibility of a new movie. We don't know if it's going to be a complete overhaul or reboot of the first live action we got last year. Or if it's going to be a part two to the movie we got last year. But I know um, Tommy Oliver was hinted at during the post credit scene. And people were like, oh, make Tommy a girl. No, 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 no. That's where I'm putting my foot down. If Tommy Oliver's in the Power Ranger live action universe, it has to be a guy. Like, I, look, not to sound like a hypocrite based off the first six minutes of this video, but no. Guy. Has to be a guy. Am I saying he has to be white? Not necessarily, but at the same time, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, we just had the 25th anniversary Power Rangers episode on Nickelodeon last night, and Tommy was heavily focused in that. I need to do a review of that actually. But yeah, so leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I mean, even though it's a Tyler Perry focused channel, I do enjoy breaking the mold by talking about things in the news that. I actually have an interest in or I find like it's something worth talking about. So I'll talk to you all soon and everybody have a great day.